morning everyone. We'll be flying our TBM 930 that we used yesterday to bring all the COVID-19 tests and things into Chicago for processing. We're going to be returning it back to Pewaukee today. Very short up and down flight. If you don't like long haul flights, this is the flight for you. <laughs> I am not kidding, I don't even know why we're going to 5,000 feet. We're barely going to make it there before we get descent instructions. Wow, we're packed, parked back to back. Oh! Packed in this place like sardines. Push. <laughs>
not sure. What the hell? Now slew mode isn't coming over here. Oh, all of a sudden they decide to change it? the tail, dude. Oh, man, that guy's walking right underneath the tail. Yes, he is. get our taxi instructions. Let me first turn off <coughs> automatic radios, otherwise we'll get screwed up. Electrics coming on. Fuel okay. systems. Oral warning. Okay. Active. ELT test. Cause system test. Okay. Oral warning system works good. Don't need to worry about pressurizing the cabin today. We're not going over 10,000 feet. Electrics are all good. No anti ice system required. Barely need the autopilot, probably don't need it. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, this is literally a up and down flight. Ooh, 13 mile-per-hour winds. Okay, that's a bit unsettling. Those winds are gonna make things hard. Gotta get ATIS. Midway Airport Information, India 1400 Zulu. Wind 194 at 7. Visibility 10. Sky condition, few clouds at 6,600 feet, ceiling 14,200 feet broken. Temperature 22. Dew point 10. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 06. ILS runway 13 center, visual runway 13 right, and visual runway 13 left in use. Landing and departing runway for left and runway for right. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have India. Midway airport information India 1400 Zulu. Wind 194 at 7. Visibility 10. Sky condition. Few clouds at 6,600 feet ceiling 14,200 feet broken. 
Temperature, 2-2. Two, two. Dew point, 1-0. Altimeter, 3-0.06. ILS runway, 1-3 center, visual runway, 1-3 right, and visual runway, 1-3 left in use. Landing and departing runway for left and runway for right. VFR aircraft, say direction of flight. All aircraft read back, hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. On, you have Ada's India. today here. Midway Airport information, India 1400 Zulu. Wind 1904 at 7. Visibility 10. Sky condition, few clouds at 6,600 feet, ceiling 14,200 feet broken. Temperature 22. Dew point 10. Altimeter 30.06. ILS runway, one tree center, visual runway, one tree right, and visual runway, one tree left in use. Landing and departing runway for left and runway for right. VFR aircraft, say direction of flight. All aircraft read back, hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact, you have India. Midway uh, airport information, India, India one. Copied. Midway clearance delivery. ASA 2194 with India ready to copy clearance to Pelwaki going IFR which we really do not need to be going IFR for such a absurdly short flight but we are anyway Midway clearance delivery ASA 2194 IFR to Pelwaki ready to copy ASA 2194 is cleared to Pelwaki airport as filed Take off runway 4 left climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Departure frequency is 126.05 squawk 7621. Clear this file to Pilwaukee. Take off runway 4 left climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Departures on 126.05 squawk 7621. ASA 2194 cleared to Pelwaki Airport as filed. Take off runway 4 left, climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Departure on 126.05 squawk 7621. ASA 2194 readback is correct. Contact ground on 121.65 when ready to taxi. Good day. Midway ground. Oh god, this guy walking in front of us makes me nervous. We'll just pretend that guy's not walking around like that. Yeah. He shouldn't be there anyway. He technically exactly. should not be there. This parking spot is absolutely terrible. Yeah. ASA 2194 with India ready to taxi IFR. Midway ground ASA 2194 with India ready to taxi IFR. ASA 2194 taxi to and hold short of runway for left via taxiway Foxtrot 2 Foxtrot Kilo Yankee Yankee 1 cross runway for right Zulu. Contact tower on 135 decimal 2 when ready. ASA 2194 going to 4 left via Foxtrot 2 Foxtrot Kilo Yankee Yankee 1 crossing runway 4 right Zulu. Tower on 135.2 at the hold short. Taxiing hold short runway for left via taxiway Foxtrot 2 Foxtrot Kilo Yankee Yankee Clear prop. Cross runway for right Zulu ASA 2194. Of course, the sky's not clear of the prop, but there's no way to get him to go away. I know, and I wish there was. I wish there was. We will just very carefully try to not hit him, and um, maybe we'll just. Uh, I don't know. Knocking him with the wing is not as bad as hitting him with the propeller. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>
brakes release. Okay, looks like we'll just knock him with the side of the airplane. Now we have to carefully, ever so carefully, weasel our way through this stupidly narrow parking area. Oh, I hate this parking area. I fucking hate this airport. Midway International, you suck. God, yeah. The parking area is so fucking tight. Fuck your parking area, Midway International. Your general aviation parking area is so chock full today. Fuck your airport. <laughs> Look at all those southwest planes over there. Wow. Good grief. Funny thing, a lot of them. We almost southwested someone yesterday. Uh, yeah, we did. SA-2194 holding short, runway 4 left, ready for takeoff, IFR to Pilwaukee. Midway Tower, ASA-2194, ready for departure, runway 4 left, IFR to Pilwaukee. ASA-2194, altimeter tree 0, decimal 0, 6, wind 204 at 6. Cleared for takeoff, runway 4 left. Good, the wind's actually backed off a bit. Oh, that's good. ASA 2194 acknowledged last transmission. ASA 2194 cleared for takeoff, runway 4 left. Cleared for takeoff runway, 4 left ASA 219 or 4. Decimal zero five for ASA two one nine or four. Chicago departures ASA two one nine four at fifteen hundred feet, climbing five thousand feet. Chicago departure ASA 219 or 4 is at 1,600 feet, climbing 5,000 feet. 
and down flight. Exactly, that's that's all it is. I actually did not write up the time of takeoff and the time of a taxi, so we're gonna have to get that off the tape. Okay. Nobody has to stay on for us to do the paper. Yes. RNAV 16 via OIFAM transition. Going to OIFAM. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect RNAV runway 16 approach via OIFAM transition. Clear to OIFAM ASA 219 or 4. Down. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, Landing I feel like we just retracted Landing those, but here we go. Landing gear down. Did we just retract those? <laughs> I know.
cheaper on the fuel. Don't quote me on this, but I think that's the Evanston College. Uh, yeah, that's definitely, I see the end there, that's a Northwestern University football and baseball stadium over there. Oh, nice.
we have to build a popo station up here in Tweekegan because we want to get drug labs. That's a good place to put a popo station. Nice. That's why we call it Tweekegan because there's so much meth up in Waukegan. Yeah. Oh, so we've yes. got to stick this landing on the first try. 
Yes, we do. Nobody can get in our way if AMB someone two one nine four traffic is two o'clock. We have no choice but to stop the system. <laughs> What does that mean? I think it means like where you have to go around? Sort of, kind of. It, it's where you end up going, overshooting the airport a bit, so that you have enough time to descend to get lined up. Oh! Okay. ILS always has the longest approach loop. VFR has the shortest approach loop. Oh, now I see what you're saying. RNAV is a bit of a happy medium between the ILS approach loop and the VFR approach loop. Ah, oh, I see.
a make it or crash it landing. <laughs> yes, it is. Because if we don't make it, we may as well crash it into the forest preserve. Because <laughs> we won't have enough to go around. Exactly. the display. Shit, where's the... You might have missed it. Well... We gotta look at the tape anyway, cause... Yeah. We have to get our takeoff time and all the times off the tape. Looking at the bottom, I didn't see it come up. I was looking directly at the bottom, what the... Decimal 7 ASA 2194. ASA 2194 going to East Parking. Executive ground ASA 219 for taxi to East Parking. ASA 219 for taxi to General Aviation Parking using taxiway Kilo Kilo Tree. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking East Ramp. Ramp 1, yeah, Kilo and Kilo 3, um, hope you guys don't mind, we're gonna sit here on the taxiway located at, ASA 2194, please acknowledge, uh, Kilo Echo intersection, we'd like to watch 420 November Whiskey approach and land as soon as he touches, we'll, uh, be rolling. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Kilo Kilo Tree ASA 2194. Authorized to hold taxiway. Ooh, look at you, fancy Cessna Citation buttering the landing. Yes. Man, that guy's got some strong brakes, too. Yes, he does. Alrighty, we are rolling at a Kilo Echo intersection. We're all just blocking the taxiway. Just blocking ah. the taxiway. Can't stop blocking the taxiway. I love the way you do Won't that. Won't stop blocking the taxiway. Won't stop parking my plane in the middle of the place. Ah. We're all just blocking the taxiway. And we love what we're doing. Oh man, that was hilarious. Signature. 
Wow. This is a hangar spot. Yeah, dude, we got a hangar. Nice. Oh, man. Getting the VIP treatment today. Yes, we are. I love it. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do our standard shutdown procedure. Our in time on the record is going to be 1449. I can at least, uh, scheduling on this flight. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and shut down the electrics and then we have ourselves some uh, paperwork issues that we need to sort out. That was a nice flight, and we got, like, the best parking spot in the whole airport. Yes, we did. There's only a few hangar spots. We got one of them. Nice. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you all soon.